evening tonight, the world is responding to the corruption in Time for breakfast. Come on, I'll be waiting for you downstairs. Good morning, Dad. Coming. The table is already set. It's cute, anak. Ha? Later, I'll be going out for work. I'll be going to Aling Nana's house to do their laundry. Yes, Ma. Ah, don't worry. We're far from the volcano. Yes, Papa's right. We are really far from being affected from that volcano. <coughs> Alexa, have you taken your medicines? Yes, pa, last night. Alexa, please be careful, okay? Oh, it's already 8. I should get going. Athena, you're in charge of food, okay? Yes, ma'am. Be careful, Ma. We love you so much. Athena, I'll do something outside. You will clean the table, okay? Mom's not yet here. But, Pa! We don't have to go. Breaking news! Everyone in Barangay Camilla should evacuate. The long-awaited Camillo's volcano has erupted. The Barangay is said to be locked down. Please be informed and safe, Kababaya. Bless you! Bless you what? The volcano's erupted! We need to evacuate! Pa! Pa, what now? Wait, let's find your mama first. Mom, you need to evacuate. The place will be locked down. Yo, wait a minute. We're waiting for someone. Just in case, sir. I've already told you. This place will be locked down already. Let's go find your mom. <laughs> Alexa! Be strong, girls. Your mom is still not here. Go find your mom. <laughs> Alexa! Go find That was the consequence of my ignorance before. If only we followed the precautions and evacuation plan, we could still be complete now. There are 300 named and unnamed volcanoes in the country. According to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or Philippines, around 23 of these volcanoes are considered active, while 27 are potentially active. The rest are inactive volcanoes. A volcanic eruption is dangerous and can be very devastating, especially if everyone failed to have some knowledge of what to do during an explosion. It will destroy everything in its path and can wipe out hundreds of people if left unattended. Even though volcanoes are dangerous, 
people are too stubborn about living near the volcano because of its minerals, geothermal energy, fertile soil, and crystals. Their mistakes were that we failed to see the things that brings us human beings. A volcanic eruption can bring us many horrible things, and one of those is death. To avoid one, we must know what to do during a volcanic eruption. Awareness of these things can help us be alive and even save life. To avoid such tragedy, we should consider the dose during volcanic eruption. During a volcanic eruption, there are many things happening in our surrounding. That's why we must not panic. Here are some of the things we need to do. First, each one should be aware of the dangers that volcanic eruption pose to lives and be prepared to face whatever circumstances it may bring. Here are some of the volcanic hazards. Pyroclastic density, lahars, structural collapse, debris flows, avalanches, dome collapse, lava flows, debra fall, and ballistic projectiles. Second, prepare all the necessary things to bring once evacuation is needed, such as follows. Flashlight and extra batteries, first aid kit and manual, emergency food and water, non-electric can opener, essential medicines, dust mask, sturdy shoes. Contact your local emergency management office for more information on volcanoes and ask for evacuation procedures. And a pair of goggles and a throwaway breathing mask for each member of the household in case of ash. Third, prioritize the safety of kids before anything else. Fourth, store as much food, water, light sources, and batteries that are very useful in case of emergencies. Fifth, volcanic eruptions have ash falls, so be prepared for mask or anything that may cover your nose and mouth. Six, and lastly, listen to the radio. Here are also some of the things to do during a volcanic eruption. First, avoid all low-lying places because lava flows and mud flows are most likely to pass there. Second, seek cover in case of ash fall, rock falls. Third, use masks to cover your mouth and nose to avoid breathing in ashes. Fourth, and if you're inside a house, close all doors and windows to avoid ashes from getting in. Fifth, always stay indoors. Sixth, when notified, immediately evacuate to safer grounds. Stay in the evacuation center until further instructions. Do not attempt to leave the place unless told so. Seven, thoroughly wash shielded cells before eating. Cover water containers and food to avoid contamination with ash. Eight, keep a watchful eye on the kids because they might be tempted to go out and see what's going on in the outside. Here are some volcano warning and action plan. Warning level zero. No alert. Quiet. All monitored parameters in background levels. No eruption in foreseeable future. Entry in a 6 km radius permanent picture zone is not advised because phreatic explosion and ash bomb may occur without resources. Warning level 1. Abnormal. Low level unrest. Slightly increase in seismicity. Very faint glow in the crater may occur but no conclusive evidence of magma acid. Phreatic explosion and ash buff may occur. No eruption imminent. No entry to the 6 km radius permanent danger zone. Warning level 2. Moderate unrest. Low to moderate level of seismic activity. Confirm reports of decrease in flow of well, springs during rainy season. Unrest, probably of magmatic origin, could eventually lead to eruption. 6 km radius danger zone may be extended to 7 km in the sector where the crater rain is low. Warning level 3. Relatively high unrest. Volcanic quakes and tremor may be more frequent. Magma is close to the crater. If trend is one of increasing unrest, eruption is possible within weeks. Extension of the danger zone in the sector where the crater is low will be considered. Warning level 4. Intense unrest. Persistent tremor, mainly low frequency type of earthquakes. Hazardous eruption is possible within days. Extension of the danger zone to 8 kilometers or more in the center where the crater rim is low will be recommended. 
Warning Level 5 Hazardous Eruption on Go Occurrences of Pyroclastic Flow Tall Eruption Columns and Extensive Ash Falls Pyroclastic Flows may sweep down along gullies and channels, especially along those fronting the low parts of the crater rim. Additional danger areas may be identified as eruption progresses. Danger to aircraft may wave of ash cloud in Calgary, depending on height of eruption column or wind rate. So here are the needed things you need to pack for the 72-hour emergency kit. First, you need enough supply of water for three days. Next is alcohol, towelettes, extra clothing enough for the next three days, easy open foods, and your necessities, including shampoos, soap, toothbrush, and toothpaste, and a battery pack. In your emergency kit, you should include the following things like flashlights, extra batteries, gloves, whistle, cotton balls, and some medicines for open wounds and band-aids and vapor up and cream for open wounds. Those are the basic necessities you need to include in your 72-hour emergency kit. Thank you. Without disaster.